All right, YouTube, so the moment is here. Let's go take a look outside. Something that I've just accomplished and I'm super excited about and I want to share with you all. So a package from Amazon came and I'm gonna open it with you now. It's going to my wife's office. Excuse the mess, everyone. So for those of you that don't know, I have written a book. This is the manuscript. The book has finally arrived. And I'm so proud that I've accomplished this. I've spent a lot of time, and you can see here, not for resale, because this is the manuscript. The name of my book is Anxiety, My Story of Anxiety and Finding Success in Business, James R. Buscemi. And on the back, you'll see a little bio and a little book description as well as the barcode. This is gonna be available on Amazon in the next couple of weeks. All right, so what's up YouTube? So I've always liked writing. I've written many things about my life in the past and not even that I think it's interesting to others, but just wanted to chronicle the things that I've experienced as a child, as an adolescent, as an adult. And as you just saw, I have published my book, which is titled Anxiety, My Story of Anxiety and Finding Success in Business. And I'm really super proud, whether it sells or not is really not that big of a deal for me, but I'm super proud that I've accomplished this. I, I have published a book and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below if you wanna buy my book. I want to show you all today exactly how I did it. It's four very easy steps. It's free. All you need is an Amazon account, and I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I did it. But before I do, I wanted to talk about a couple things. Again, I've always liked writing. Um, it's always been something that's kind of in me, and I figured, okay, let me explore how to publish a book. So what I did was I Googled how to publish a book. And of course it came up with all publishers trying to win my business, so to speak. I put my email address and phone number in a couple different places. And let me let you know that I got at least 50 different phone calls from publishers. And when I explored publishing the book with them, they all wanted money. The whole idea of publishing a book for me is not that I'm paying someone else money. The idea would be I'm putting my thoughts, my experiences into a book and perhaps if people find it interesting, they're buying the book and hence from a business perspective, I'm making money. Well, as I continued to explore, I came across Kindle Direct Publishing. And I explored self-publishing or publishing a book with, with the Kindle Direct program. So right now I'm gonna jump in to the steps that I went through and I'm gonna show you in real time on the screen exactly how I published my book. Let's check it out. So step one seems extremely obvious. Step one is you have to write the book. You're gonna to have to sit down and simply put your thoughts on paper and this is no easy endeavor. When I embarked on writing my book, I kind of had a thought in my head of how many words. I wanted around 30,000 to 50,000 words. I ended on about 30,000 words for my book. What is it that you wanna to convey to an audience? What do you think would be interesting to an audience? And you have to sit down and just put the time in. I simply created an outline with, with respect to the subject matter of anxiety of something that I've experienced in my life that I have fought through. I wanted to talk mainly about how anxiety has challenged me throughout my life as a child, as an adolescent, as an adult, and as a business owner, and how I've overcome some of those challenges. And you have to really sit there and hone your book. It's not going to be easy. That is perhaps the hardest part. The self-publishing, which I'm going to get into in step two, three, and four, is probably the easiest part out there. But frankly, writing a book, organizing that book, making it interesting and relevant, and being an expert in terms of subject matter is something that you're gonna have to put some time and energy and effort into. That is one part of this process that is perhaps the most labor intensive. Let's get into step number two. Step number two is you have to create a Kindle Direct publishing account. 
I'm gonna bring you right now to the screen to show you exactly how you're gonna do it. It couldn't be easier. Let's go. All right, YouTube, let's jump right in. Step two, creating a KDP account couldn't be easier. Obviously, you're gonna to go to Google and you're simply gonna type in Kindle Direct Publishing. This, of course, will bring you to the search result. You're gonna click on Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, self-publishing, and it's gonna bring you to this page here. I would recommend watching the various videos. One thing that I will say that KDP does very well is they have video tutorials. Considering I already have an account, it's not going to allow me to create another one. It's gonna ask me to simply sign in. But if you have not created an account already, there'll be a button right here that says create an account. You're simply gonna click on that button. You're gonna use your username and password for your already established Amazon account. Obviously, Kindle Direct Publishing is a component of Amazon. If you have an Amazon username and password, you're gonna use that username and password to create your KDP account. It couldn't be easier. You click on create an account and you simply follow the prompts and directions. Let's jump into step number three. Step number three, and I recommend this strongly to anyone that wants to self-publish using Kindle Direct Publishing, go to the help section. Let me show you exactly what I'm speaking about. All right, let's jump right into step number three, which is going to the help section. So when you create your KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing account, you're gonna to come to the sign-in page. You're simply gonna sign in. As you can see, I'm inside of my Kindle Direct Publishing page now. You could see in my bookshelf, I already have my only title, my only book that I've written and published through KDP right here. You could see that it's live on Kindle ebook. You could see that it's live on paperback. But before you get to the step of going live, you need to know all of the details of how to do that. The best place that you could do that is by going to the help section. The help section is a treasure trove of information. And at first it was very overwhelming to me, but as I kind of figured out how it works and how everything is, is, you know, situated within the help section, it became very, very easy. And when I write my second and third and fourth title, I'll know exactly what I need to do. But after you write your book and you create your KDP account, you're going to want to learn all of the details of how to format that book, how to price the book. You're going to need all the details of how you get that book from a Word document. And by the way, I recommend using Word, Microsoft Word, but how to get that from a Word document into the Kindle Direct Publishing mechanism that we're looking at now. So if you take a look here on the left side of the screen, this is largely everything you need to know. For example, formatting your book. This is vital, vital, vital section. You cannot get your book into Kindle Direct's publishing program or onto Amazon unless you have it properly formatted. If you want to get a paperback, which is what I have, a paperback book, it's going to have setting the size and margins, creating font, body, back matter, saving your manuscript for upload, how to create a cover. Each one of these sections has another subsection. And let me tell you, I watched video after video. And I know just looking at this, it might seem overwhelming, but it is really not overwhelming. This specific video in, in particular is a must watch video. It will tell you how to format your book in terms of trim size, bleed, margins. It is not hard, but it will tell you precisely what you need to do to get your book formatted. So such things as book formatting, royalties, whether you want to do paperback, ebook, hardcover. This is the section that you really want to dive deep into. There's a tremendous amount of information here. However, where you really want to live is right here in the user guides. KDP Jumpstart will tell you everything you need to know. What this is, is the step-by-step -step process. You're coming to KDP Jumpstart, and you're literally going step-by-step step through this process. If you do, 
you will get your book uploaded in no time. Let's jump right into step number four, which is the last step in publishing your self-published book on Kindle Direct Publishing. When you are in your account, you are going to click on the bookshelf section. The bookshelf section is precisely what it sounds like. It's a bookshelf that holds all of your current titles. As I said earlier, you're seeing my one title here, which is live on both Kindle eBook and paperback. But if you wanted to create another book to put onto the bookshelf, you would simply click on create and you will follow the prompts. In my case, I created a paperback. So you would hit create paperback. Once here, it's going to take you step by step in, con in the construction of your book to be delivered to Amazon for the public to purchase your book. For example, language, obviously for us it's English. Book title, you'll put your book title. Is it part of a series? Some people will have a book series that has the first book in the series, the second book in the series, and so forth. Whether it has multiple edition, your information as the author, if there's anyone that was a sub-author, the description. This description is what you're going to see when your book is on Amazon. So if the public goes to Amazon and comes across your book, this description is going to tell them largely what your book is about. I would pay strict attention to this section and making sure that what you're writing here accurately conveys the book that you are publishing. Why? You wanna put yourself in the best position that people are reading this description and saying, I wanna buy this book. Publishing rights, I own the copyright or this is a public domain work. If you're writing your own book, you're, you're clicking on I own the copyright, keywords. You're gonna to want, to want to put keywords that if people are searching through Amazon for your book and for me, I typed in anxiety, depression, self-help and other such items, categories. Is it fiction? Is it nonfiction? If it's nonfiction, is it self-help? Is it humor? Is it about music? So you can see here that you will simply go through the various steps on the bookshelf. Once you've concluded these steps, then you're simply gonna hit the, the button that says publish. It will take you through a series of screens. This is the first in that series. But if you simply can follow directions and go through the, those series of pages and fill it out accordingly, you will be publishing your book in no time.